And we're back in El Salvador for round two. If you missed the video of our first trip, check out the link in the top right hand corner or in the description of this video below. It's our second year back to back on the Brain Education Meditation Tour in El Salvador. And this time, we're starting our journey at the brand new Ilchi Institute for Peace. This building is located in the central area of the capital, San Salvador. It currently serves as a beautiful studio where locals can come and experience the teachings, methods, and lifestyle of brain education. You can call it an oasis in the middle of the city where people can come and experience deep connection and relaxation in the brain and in the body. Doesn't it sound calming just thinking about it? The Ilchi Institute for Peace also serves as the headquarters of brain education in Latin America. The goal is to spread these brain-enhancing wellness practices to neighboring countries like Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, Mexico, and beyond. Our first night in El Salvador started with a fiesta called Desata Tu Brain Power, or Unleash Your Brain Power. And I had the chance to co mc the event in Spanish with Camila, a fellow brain education practitioner in El Salvador. My Spanish is not that great, so it was a definite challenge for me. But a core teaching of brain education is believing in the infinite power and potential of my brain and accepting challenges with courage. So I dove headfirst into the deep end and I'm so glad that I did. After the program, we finished the night dancing under the twinkling lights because you can't have a true Latin fiesta without some dancing, right? Bailemos! On the second day, we got to see beautiful sights around El Salvador. El Salvador is a mountainous country, so we got to see many awesome views in high places and also eat some delicious local snacks, of course. There were also precious moments set aside to connect with the mountains and nature and refocus our attention inward, which I appreciated a lot. It gave me time to mix taking in the external environment and also exploring my internal environment as well. It's the best of both worlds, and it gave me time to recharge myself here and there between moving around the country. After that, we got to explore the heart of downtown San Salvador. This was new for me, even though I've been to El Salvador a handful of times now, because it used to be really dangerous to walk around here. Recently, the government of El Salvador cracked down heavily on the gang violence problem nationwide and transformed even the most dangerous parts of the city into a safe place for families to walk around without any worries. We even had a wonderful guide, Miguel, tell us the history and culture of San Salvador and the significant buildings in the capital square. On the third day, we traveled to the Ministry of Education in San Salvador and met with government employees to share about the positive social, emotional, and mental results of brain education in the public schools around El Salvador. Since bringing brain education as a pilot project to a single public school in El Salvador through the United Nations in 2011, the Ibrea Foundation has empowered 2,300 teachers and administrators, along with hundreds of thousands of students and parents, in the schools with tools for meditation and relaxation to create peace within chaos. As I mentioned before, gang violence was a huge problem in El Salvador for many years and it heavily impacted people physically, emotionally, and mentally as a result. What Salvadorans needed most during this difficult time was healthy self-coping methods to deal with their distress. And the Ibrea Foundation delivered just that through the brain boosting, brain empowering, and brain soothing methods of brain education. The government employees got to experience the methods and hear the results, and they were deeply inspired and passionate about the project. They even had time to share energy with each other and brainstorm about the exciting potential of spreading this further and wider across the country. And did you know? Because of its proven success, brain education has been implemented in 25% of all public schools nationwide in El Salvador. Amazing! Later that day, we drove northwest from the capital to the famous Santa Ana volcano. Santa Ana is the highest volcano in El Salvador. Because of the high altitude, it's always cloudy up here. But I really love the crisp, cool air. There's something about cool, crisp mountain air that just does wonders for the brain and body. Ah. 
We followed a local guide and hiked a nice loop trail in the forest of the volcano. There were cute signs along the way that reminded you of spending precious time connecting with nature. This particular sign caught my eye and it says, There is no Wi-Fi in this forest, but here you will find a better connection. I absolutely love that. At about the midway point, we took some time to slow down and meditate as a group in a nice clearing in the forest. It was a heartwarming reminder to connect with the beautiful nature that surrounded us and also to each other as one humanity. I, once again, felt the crisp, cool air going into my brain and clearing out my emotions and thoughts as I breathed it all in. It felt so refreshing. Moving onward that night, we went back to the Ilchi Institute where we had time to deeply recharge and relax our tired bodies with brain education exercises. It was a special treat to decompress and practice what we preach. We experienced tapping, deep breathing, and meditation led by Laura, one of the first students of brain education in El Salvador when she was only 16 years old. She has now blossomed into a beautiful young lady and is now a brain education instructor herself. She taught us in Spanish, but her energy transcended language and boundaries. After training, we had a chance to share our experience in El Salvador so far. Uh, this has been an eye-opening and a heart-opening experience to see that there's so much we can accomplish and we can do if we really want it. And the nature was amazing. For me, I feel connected to nature. I could feel the energy, something magical. The trip has been wonderful so far, connecting with, even if I didn't know what they were saying, like I felt I was connecting with them, being fully present together. It was something special, like I was getting emotional. So it was like something that opened within me that I was like, all right, this person is like a human just like you. We're all like in this together. I was very, very touched. I didn't know what to expect. Just connecting with everyone, it's beautiful. I was here last year, and as soon as I heard it um, introduced for this year, I really wanted to come back because I wanted to see the difference in a year, the progress. I just want to say congratulations on the work that you have done over here. It is really amazing. The fourth day was the highlight of the trip. We experienced an on-site visit to the first school where the first brain education pilot project started back in 2011. This is the school in Distrito Italia, which used to be one of the worst neighborhoods affected by gang violence. To describe the situation here, the teachers were afraid to come to school for fear of their lives, and many of the students' parents were gang members, and usually from rival gangs who committed violent crimes against each other. Everyone, including the government, saw the situation in Distrito Italia as a hopeless cause. But the Ibrea Foundation didn't give up hope and went day after day with tools for the students, teachers, and parents to regulate their emotional and mental well-being to create peace inside and outside of themselves. Can you see how bright and happy the children look? It brought such joy and happiness to me when I saw them doing signature brain education exercises like panjun tapping, intestine exercise, Chiga meditation, and others. Everyone in the schools expressed genuine gratitude and happiness to have learned the methods of brain education to help them cope with their daily stress. For me, it was a reminder of how easily we take things for granted. But once you put the same practices into perspective under different circumstances, the value of what you have seems much greater than you imagined. It's always such a humbling experience to see brain education put into practice in the field and especially internationally in communities that need it the most. This is Raquel. She is a former student of Distrito Italia who took the pilot program in 2011. She is now a mom and her child goes to the school in Distrito Italia and is learning brain education too. This is her sharing about her experience and transformation with brain education. Fue bien satisfactorio, sinceramente si me gustó eh, el tiempo que nosotros estuvri, estuvimos fue realmente importante para nosotros porque más en el tiempo que estábamos era era bien difícil pero entonces eso ese tiempo que nosotros eh, conllevamos en el ejercicio que veníamos en las mañanas eh, fue importante para nosotros incluso para nuestra salud fue muy satisfactorio 
para todos. Sí. Todos estábamos felices con lo que venían a impartir de Ibrea. Mente sana, cuerpo sano. <laughs> Siempre. After Distrito Italia, we visited one more school in Usulután, in the southeast corner of El Salvador. We met more students who had been impacted by brain education, even in a small remote school like this in the countryside. This is Marta Lidia. She is a retired school district administrator who is now dedicating herself to sharing the physical, emotional, and mental exercises of brain education. Bueno, este, de entre los beneficios es el mejoramiento de la convivencia, tanto del personal docente como de los estudiantes. Además de eso, es la, la mejora de los aprendizajes, ¿verdad? Porque no es lo mismo tener nuestro cerebro conectado a estar desconectado, ¿verdad? Entonces, los niños están más alegres, todo eso. Hemos podido observar en los, en los estudiantes. Yo creo que El Salvador tiene mucho potencial en poder seguir desarrollando el programa. En primer lugar porque las personas eh, que lo han que han practicado educación cerebral es algo que esa inquietud se ha quedado y entonces como que esperan pues que continuemos. Hay mucho interés de los de todas las personas, no solo maestros y maestras, sino todas las personas eh, que ya han participado siempre pues están con ese entusiasmo de continuar. On the last day, we took a trip to La Unión by the beach in the east side of the country and enjoyed the water. While in La Unión, we visited the Ministry of Education there and met a few administrators who had taken brain education programs. Let's listen to some of their experiences from that part of the country. Yo participé en el programa eh, Educación para el Cerebro. Yo, pues, a nivel personal, puedo decir que tuve eh, una, un beneficio a muy tangible en cuanto a, a sentir eh, eh, mejor en el tema de salud, este, valorar también ¿va? que el programa tuvo un impacto enorme ¿va? en cuanto también a la, a, la, a la salud de los maestros que participaron. Esto lo decimos por los testimonios ¿va? que cada docente eh, nos ha podido eh, dar a conocer y este con todos estos aspectos tan positivos ¿va? que tiene el programa, pues eh, nos vimos nosotros este, también en la necesidad de indicarle a los profesores que lo trabajaran con los estudiantes. Esto tuvo también un impacto ¿va? también muy grande en el estudiantado, puesto que aquellas situaciones que, que los docentes identifican ¿va? cotidianamente en los centros escolares como estudiantes rebeldes, estudiantes con actitudes así muy... Eh, muy negativas, estudiantes eh, difíciles de controlar, eh, después de hacer ¿va? sesiones este, de, de las que se les indicaba dentro del programa, ellos este, afirman de que esa, ese tipo de conductas mejoran significativamente en el estudiantado. Fui beneficiario también del programa de Educación para el Cerebro y bueno, los cambios que pude experimentar eh, es un mayor autocontrol de, de las emociones acercar siempre, eh, traer el cerebro al, al cuerpo en, en algunas oportunidades. ¿Qué le veo al programa en el futuro acá en el país? Eh, creo que puede ayudarnos mucho en el sentido de eh, ayudarle a la población a, a tener un mayor dominio de sí mismo, ¿verdad? experimentar una paz interior y por supuesto el estado de felicidad que todos anhelamos y deseamos. Yo recibí eh, educación para el cerebro y todavía practico algunas actividades. A mi edad, yo creo que es necesario mantener ese tipo de actividad en el sentido de que hay que saber cómo poder respirar mejor, cómo lograr que la circulación de la sangre llegue hasta nuestro cerebro, ¿verdad? Creo de que va a ayudar mucho a los maestros y, y en especial aquellos maestros que tienen eh, cada día un impacto de estrés bastante grande porque les va a facilitar de que ellos se desempeñen mejor y tengan más o menos tolerancia con el quehacer educativo de los jóvenes y de los niños, ¿verdad? Wow. 
From the west to the east, we experienced so much of El Salvador at one time through the Brain Education Meditation Tour. Since our last trip, it was personally inspiring for me to see the tangible growth and development that happened in just a year, and to see the fruits of labor from what the Abrea Foundation is doing with the locals there. It made me imagine what could happen if communities and countries in Latin America could empower their school systems with stress and emotional management tools through wellness methods like brain education. And then going beyond just Latin America, to Europe, to Africa, to Asia, and beyond. The next Brain Education Meditation Tour in El Salvador will be held November 2nd to 7th, 2024. This time, the Ibrea Foundation will be hosting the first Latin American screening of the award-winning documentary film Love Heals, along with a workshop. There will be an opportunity to directly learn how to be a hands-on part of the Brain Education Project in Latin America. If you're inspired by this work and want to get involved with the Ibrea Foundation, reach out to them at info at ibreafoundation.org. I'll leave a link to their website in the description of this video so you can get more information. Thanks for watching!